Rock Ridge State Park. Got a map, main entrance, so the park office. This is a very small area. Um, there's a turn off to go to Deer Run, and then you can go all the way down to the loop to get on this red trail, which is the Springbrook Trail. We want to take the Devil's Icebox Trail. We took it like when our boys were little, before 2002, because that's when I started my digital um, photography with my first digital camera. <laughs> and I think um, that it's uh, before that time, that, uh, the last time that we've been here. So that's where we want to go down there. But it looks like to get here, you have to go back out to 163 and down into this parking area. There's a white connector. Or you could go back out to 163 to get to the Grasslands Trail. It looks like to get to all the various trails, you got to go back out to 163. This looks like it might go that way to get to some trails. Not very connected. There's an old building. Here's the loop. They have a bathroom here and there's the trail. Actually, that was just a little trail down to the pavilion. This says it's the uh, Springbrook Trail right here. This thing has me curious. Cabin in the woods at Rock Ridge State Park. And on the inside of the cabin. Oh, complete with fireplace. And doors. Devil's ice box. So we're at this parking lot. We're going to take the yellow trail, natural bridge, and the devil's ice box at the cave. At this same parking lot on the other end is uh, this sinkhole trail. It's a mile and a half. This is a half a mile. It says it's primarily boardwalk with several short spurs, viewing platforms, and numerous stairs. It takes you to the most impressive geological feature in the park, including a 63 foot high rock bridge and a double sinkhole cave entrance called Devil's Icebox. You may explore Connor's Cave and inside the rock bridge at your own risk. And the sinkhole trail is kind of cool too. It says um, you'll follow an old road through the historic site of the Rockbridge Mills, and then it continues up a forested valley to the top of the ridge where you'll find at old fields and sinkholes, two concrete silo stands. Um, at the bottom of the sinkhole is a gated 30 foot deep pit known as Hogs Graveyard Cave. So the sinkhole trail is there, and over here, it's the devil's ice box. The rock bridge stands alone and is slimed by geological processes. Here we go. There's a little creek. Half mile. 
Estimated walking time, a half hour. Mine says the Springbook Trail, 2.5 miles red to the right. Devil's Ice Box is straight. Looks like it loops around right here. <laughs> Boardwalk. Yeah, the cave is not far at all down this trail. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you walk down those steps and it's much cooler. This is fun. Whoa. Gotta be careful walking on the rocks. We're carrying the dogs, but there's water going down here. Cool. A window to the world. Right there, I don't know if you can see it, let me make it lighter. It's where water's coming over the edge. <laughs> Can't get much closer to the wall. <laughs> And that way is back out to the boardwalk. That's kind of fun with the people there. Gives you perspective of the cave size. <laughs> Has to see what's in the hole. You come back out of the cave, you can go to the right and it takes you over to the sinkhole trail. But we came back. Apparently you have to take these steps to go up to the Day of Devil's Ice Box. Thanks for, to the helpful people. Miss Tiz, you take those stairs way too easy for a 10 year old dog. Look at you. Yeah, we get to go up more. <laughs> they just keep going. And I'm saying to myself, haven't we done steps like this this year already? Yeah. Why do we subject ourselves? Here we go. Yeah. Leads to a cave overlook. Well, I see people on a trail, so I'm assuming that's where we were just now when we went into that cave. Looks much smaller from up here. Gotta go right back up here, around the corner. Overlook. The way we came, we're going this way. We were informed there's more steps this way. Around a bend. It's kind of cool, the boardwalk is. I think that way is a short jaunt to an overlook. You can see it there in the trees. So I'm going to turn and go down the steps to what you could look at up there. Well, I don't know, when you get down, there's a spot there and then they go up again. Some men there, so we'll look at that when we get back. Come on, Tiz. So I think it's right around the corner. I see the uh, overlook from here. I think it seems like it's a lot longer because we rode our bike <laughs> 18 miles today. Come to an overlook and Miss Tizzy's trying to show us where to go. I'm not quite sure what this is an overlook to. There's some water down there. 
I think we got to keep going. I really thought we were almost here. <laughs> but there's people walking up there. A little uh, cooler air just hit us as we were walking across there. <sighs> the sign is uh, well worn. I think it's down there. I do believe that's it. But I hear people over here. So after you get down, yeah, they're down in the devil's ice box, I guess. They're down in there. You must like steps to go to the devil's ice box. You hit about here. Oh, the cool air feels so good. I don't want to come back up. Warning, this cave is prone to flooding. Do not enter if any of the following. Goodness, does it feel good right here. I guess you enter the cave through here. Oh, look, I see feet. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> this is super cool. Devil's icebox. It's a cave that is dark back there. We made it to Devil's icebox. All the moss. Super cool. Oh, look how far down we are. You can hear the water running. The girls that were here before us tried to go down in there and they said it was really dark. And he wants a picture, but it's dark over there too. Yep. Mm. You made it. Yeah. Turn around and smile. In face. Yeah. Okay. Your... Ooh, cool. Yep, pretty cool. It is. Okay, so well. Going down to the Devil's Icebox is there. We came from that way. We're going to go this way to take the loop back. It is such a significant temperature change. You get to a certain part on those stairs back there and suddenly you're hot again. <laughs> Up down. It says to Sinkhole Trail that way. And I think this is a half mile to the Devil's Ice Box and a half mile back or so. There's the song about under the boardwalk. Only under this boardwalk, there's no sea. There's probably uh, bugs, uh, oh, its own, um, community under these boardwalks. <laughs> yeah. It's an overlook to an overlook. I wonder if we were over there. I think that's that first platform we skipped because the men were there. So this would be water um, maybe flowing down from the devil's icebox, I think. Back to the parking lot. Whew. It's not a bad hike, really. Unless you're already tired. 